can never get to where God calls you. And a lot of times, you know, in order to fill our purpose, especially when we get to a place where it's unfamiliar to us, or God is calling us to a place where it's unfamiliar to us, or it's unusual, it's out of our box, it's out of what, you know, what we would have even perceived for our own life, out of what we would have ever even thought God would have told us to do, or out of the way that we would have been comfortable with doing it, when those feelings are fear, do it anyway. Do it anyway, because you can't ever overcome something if you if you shrink back. If you shrink back, because there is a so there is a purpose that God has already suggested for us according to his will, the Bible says, and that there is a design that he has for us that's transforming his purpose. So therefore, in order to fulfill his purpose in the earth, we have to overcome or we have to be willing to deal with and receive that divine change in our minds and our hearts and our souls so that we can be the whole people. That we, you know, and we are constantly growing. And one of the things that, that I say about, you know, dealing with jealousy and dealing with, com- you know, competition, envy, whatever it is, because they still deal with stuff like that. Sometimes we ain't, we ain't always exchanging, we ain't always receiving that exchange that we need to be receiving. But, um, in order to, to really do that, we have to um, don't don't again uh, don't deny it. You ain't got to tell everybody, you know what I mean. But confess it to the Lord. You know, say to God, you know what? I feel this way. I feel that way. Help me to overcome. Because a lot of us, you know, try to try to struggle up, and you know, we get real, we get deep, we get a little strange with stuff. You know what I'm saying? We get a little strange with stuff, and, and we don't always deal with what needs to be dealt with. Say what needs to be said, and if, it even needs, if you even need to confide in another person about it, help me because I, I need, I'm dealing with this. I need to overcome it. I need to overcome it. Another way to overcome fear or feelings of inferiority is don't allow the enemy to speak negatively to you about me. All of us have self uh, conversations. You know, we, we talk to ourselves. And sometimes all that conversation is not good. And sometimes it's, it's some negative stuff that we say to ourselves. Except for women, I don't know about men, I haven't talked to, to men or, you know, heard of them. But women can, we can be real hard on ourselves. Mm-hmm. We can be, you know, we look at other people and we look at their strengths and we look 